Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you an exciting new feature in our BCSC Canvas environment, and that is integration with our premium district tech tool, Screencastify. So all BCSC staff have access to the premium version of Screencastify, meaning you have unlimited number of recordings, unlimited recording time, access to the Screencastify editor, which is one of my favorite video editing tools because it's so easy to use, access to data analytics for your video viewing, it's really easy on their whole uh, Screencastify watch page. You can track how many students have watched your videos and more. And you even have the ability to insert questions directly into your Screencastify videos and see how students do with kind of a formative check along the way. So the cool thing is that now you can easily pull in your Screencastify videos into Canvas and you can add them to Canvas assignments, either in the instructions, you can add them on the Canvas pages because there's now a Canvas uh, integration where the button pops up for Screencastify on the rich content editor. So you can put it in discussions or other places as well. So ideas for using this, obviously giving students an overview on the assignment, a video of you explaining what they're supposed to be doing and some of those expectations and instructions. It'd be also great to pull in your Screencastify videos if you're recording your screen for a virtual learning day or an e-learning day, or if you're introducing a new tech tool and you want to make sure students know where to go in your course or how to navigate that tool. Now it's even easier to do that than ever before. As always with Screencastify videos, they always save automatically to your Google Drive. So you can always embed them and insert them via a link or the Google Drive button, but this just makes it a little bit easier if you're very comfortable and familiar with Screencastify. So right here in front of me, I have an assignment in Canvas that I've already made, but let's say that I wanna go in and I wanna add my Screencastify video here to it. So I'll go in to this assignment and you can do this on a page as well. It doesn't have to be an assignment, but I'm gonna model that. And then what I'll do is across the top here, I have all these different buttons on the RCE, which is the rich content editor in Canvas. And below this little plug button, if you don't see Screencastify right away, it's probably because you haven't used it quite yet, but I'll click view all, and then I can see all the different tools that we have set up here in BCSE. So I would select Screencastify. It's going to ask you to sign in and to connect your account. But once you do that the first time, you should be good to go. So it's going to pull up all of my Screencastify videos and I have a lot of them. So it's probably going to take a second here. And whenever I find a video that I want to insert, like for this particular assignment, it was an activity that students need to watch a recording of a webinar or attend the webinar. Then I can go in, select this, and it does change the link share settings automatically to where other people can view it. So if you embed a video and you didn't make that so I'll select it to insert it. And then it inserts it and embeds it directly in the page. So it makes it easy for my students to see my videos and things that I make. So it's a pretty awesome option to have there. The other thing that you can do is technically you can allow students to include Screencastify as a submission type as well. So what you can do is select external tool and then select Screencastify. And what that'll do is make sure that the only type of submission that students can turn into you is a Screencastify video. Now that could be a good option for a video assignment project, but the only thing I will caution you on with that is that students do not have the paid version of Screencastify, so they will run into recording limits and number of videos that they can make. So just know that before you go in and make those assignments, but it's a really good option to integrate these onto pages and elsewhere in Canvas, should you like to make these videos and tools to just add that other layer of accessibility and support for your students. So if you haven't checked this out, check it out today.